Hey YouTubers, it's Toymaster83 here and we're going to have a look at Nightwatch Optimus Prime. He is the leader class figure that's out at the moment from the 2007 Transformers movie. And yeah, we're going to have a look at him today. Now, first things first, um, in Australia these figures go for $99. Um, I've seen them as low as $89, but I was not happy paying that sort of money. So what I did, um, the best option for me was to go on to BigBadToyStore.com and grab one, I think, uh, in total including postage and handling and exchange rates um, and all that sort of jazz. I picked up Nightwatch Optimus and Deep Desert Brawl, both leader class, for about 120 Australian dollars. So they roughly worked out to be 60 bucks each, which is a lot cheaper than paying, you know, 89 or 99 dollars. Um, I think I may have mentioned in one of my other videos that um, I just got them, or I may have commented. I've got a really bad memory, and I'm sorry. Um, so hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. Now, this guy, um, he's pretty good. I mean, you kind of lose certain cool things about a Transformer when you go too big. Um, yeah, so as you can probably tell, I'm not exactly, I'm not totally thrilled, totally over the moon with it, but... I can't complain. I know heaps of people are like obsessed with this figure, but it wasn't the flat nosed truck um, that we're kind of used to, so that was one off putting thing. But hey, I don't want to go into the negatives. This isn't like a negative um, review, it's a good figure. Now, let's have a look at um, just the box quickly. Uh, this is the one of the All Spark Power figures that were released. Um, I thought, I didn't really notice initially, I didn't, I just didn't, like, think it was going to be a big deal, but then of course, you know, you've got the All Spark blue everywhere on the figure, on the legs, um, and it was the same for Jazz, here's one of the other All Spark power figures that I have, um, along with... Wingblade and Jetstorm are the two other figures that I've got. Um, now, I'm not a big fan of this blue now. It just gives me the shits. Um, but yeah, let's have a look. This is the Automorph feature. And... Not bad. I don't know why it's sort of like it's just a strange sound I still haven't worked out exactly what that is it's kind of like um, maybe it's the transforming sound and then this like he uh, lots of lasers and shooting straight after I transform I don't know the other thing that really pisses me off is see this button right here that's the button you press when he's in um, truck mode, I'll do it now. So when he's all closed up, um, yeah, he's in truck mode and he, yep, he beeps his horn. However, um, yeah, however, when he's out in his robot mode, it does nothing like, maybe it should do some, even one little catchphrase like, you know, Transformers, Autobots transform and roll out, or, you know, just, I don't know, maybe a normal sounding sort of laser firing, I don't know. So that was, this is kind of sounding a bit of a negative review, but, nee, that's me though. I'm not a huge fan of these leader class figures. I have to say, to be honest, uh, I'm a sort of a completionist, so I do, I wanted them, and I'm not, I don't regret buying them, but the Voyager figures are 
like detail wise probably like as big as you really want to go I'm a, a massive, massive fan of the deluxe figures. I love the deluxe figures. Like you've, oh, you've just got no idea. Um, I hadn't bought Transformers for so long. Um, last year I bought um, the deluxe barricade um, figure, and to be honest, I was just so stoked with that figure. It, it was unreal, like, I thought, holy shit, Transformers have come a long way with these guys, wow, like, he looks like a car, like, you could keep him in, um, his alternate mode, and display him as a car, and unless, you know, someone knew he was a Transformer, um, or was really close to him to see, sort of, some of the lines, and, oh, and why isn't there a back window, um, you wouldn't know it was a Transformer, uh, I was just really impressed. Or maybe that's stretching a little bit. But it, it's a nice looking car and it's got some realistic features, especially the um, the lights on top. I'm digressing again. We're at six minutes. Um, I'm not going to transform this guy because he takes ages. Um, Decompose does a really nice transform. Ah, oh, sorry. He doesn't transform him either. He goes from robot mode to um, alternate mode. Um... I'm not even going to do that because at the moment um, I can't edit my um, my videos. Um, I'm doing this with my Cyber Sony CyberShot camera, and iMovie HD doesn't recognize the MPEG format. Blah blah blah. Anyway, so I need to do it all in this one video before I stop it. Now, um, just quickly, all the detail. Um, his little knee pads are kind of cool. They move around, they're nice. Um, he bends at the knee, he's got um, pretty good movement at the hips. Um, the only thing sort of stopping that are these wheels, like when you bend his knee, they sort of encroach here. Um, and where this is where the battery goes in here. I don't know, I mean I'm not very technically minded and I don't know that much about trucks but whatever this thing is, I think it might, have been, might be a fuel tank, I'm not sure, but it's an external tank anyway. That kind of encroaches with these wheels, so you don't get a whole lot of like movement at the hips, like outwards, because these sort of smack into each other. Um, one thing I really like are these feet. Um, I'll just pop this here. Now, you can kind of see... got some cool auto-morph auto features in case you missed it that all just slides in there so that's a cool little feature I like it yay Okay, I'm a guy, I find it hard to multitask, I can't talk and transform at the same time, which is a little bit pathetic. Alright, we're encroaching on eight and a half minutes, very long movie, uh, yeah, it's a movie, very long YouTube video. Um, I love how um, all these fingers move individually, that's really cool, the thumb moves independently as well, the colour scheme I should touch on, um, oh, before I go any further, these wheels are rubber. Okay, that earns like a bonus point in my book. Very nice. Ah, uh, what else? Uh, his weapon, it's just this cannon, but it's got auto more feature as well. Um, you just move this little slider up and it flicks out, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, the color scheme... Nightwatch Optimus Prime, apparently uh, being painted this sort of deepish blue... Um, with silver flames is more camouflage than a regular truck. No idea. To be honest, if you guys are going to buy um, Optimus in leader class, get him in regular colours. Um, if you're a completist like me, get both of them. I don't have both of them. I want to get other figures first. Anyway, this is drawing to a close, so I'll make another video talk some more about Optimus and other figures. Until then, have an awesome day and I'll talk to you guys soon.